Hello and welcome everyone to Gold Asset of the Day for the 6th of April 2022 presented by myself Phil Carr at the Gold and Silver Club. So as we move into a new quarter here we've immediately seen copper prices break back out to one month highs. Fresh capital coming back into the market supporting many commodities with energy prices breaking out over $4 at the start of this week. Now, as it relates specifically to gold, over the last week, hedge funds and money managers, their overall net long position currently remains at 79%. So of those hedge funds and money managers that currently have a position on gold, 79% are currently long. And with that, we do continue to see very strong support and bids coming in between 1890 up towards that 1900 zone and yet again resistance which resides at 1950 to 1960 US dollars per ounce. Over this week I'm expecting more of the same, more range bound price action, more opportunities to sniper in quickly on any dips back down towards that 1900 1890 zone and then capitalizing on that range bound price action back towards that 1945 1960 zone in order to bank on strength and this playbook is working out extremely well at the moment for gold in particular as you know with our clients at the gold and silver club last week we booked 2000 points across our positions on gold so for that calculation for every one lot contract that you'll be trading, that's $20,000 of profit. For every 10 lot contract that you'll be trading, that's $200,000 of profit. And this is what it's really about at the moment, capitalizing on the current market volatility. Make sure that you maximize the opportunities in the ranges that we're seeing at the moment. Now this week, we have another major news item on Wednesday, which is the minutes of the FOMC statement. So from that, this of course creates further volatility, particularly on the precious metals that you can capitalize on, looking out again for opportunities to sniper in on any sudden pullbacks that we may get on the metals or furthermore, banking on strength when you do get those sudden breakouts that we're regularly seeing at the moment that we can benefit from with the metals. Now, as we discussed with you last week, typically once you move into the month of April, as you go into a new quarter, you do see fresh inflows coming into the market. We've definitely already seen that with copper breaking out to one month highs, energy prices breaking out $5 at the start of the week. This is where an understanding of the cycles in the market will help you tremendously, as opposed to using technical analysis, which as you know, does not work. Traders in this market, they keep getting chopped up if they're only using technical analysis in these markets. Inexperienced traders, they're constantly FOMOing in, catching the top of the moves, then getting liquidated right at support levels. This is not what you want at all in these markets. If you're not making money at the moment, you absolutely should be in this commodity super cycle. Gold had its best performing quarter in two years. This is where you want to be utilizing a professional research driven approach in the market, utilizing statistics, data, market intelligence. Alongside that, learning the daily, the weekly, the monthly, the quarterly cycles for each commodity. Alongside that, learning the intermarket correlations, the ratios in the market, the key areas of liquidity, understanding the fundamentals, the geopolitics, the macroeconomics, and furthermore, compounding that with the knowledge of how the hedge funds, money managers, banks, and institutions are positioned in the market in real time. That will help you massively to get an edge. So with that, if you would like to join our community of successful traders, learn the research driven approach to the market and join our professional mentorship program there is an opportunity for you to do so just make sure you click in the link below today's report in order to make an application to join our professional mentorship program